What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another day of eating. I just got up earlier, took my kids to school as always during the week, and you already know I need some coffee. So we're making coffee right now. Got my little cute Christmas mug. I am in the Christmas spirit today. We're going to be putting some stevia drops for sweetness. Right now I just have to wake up my dogs, my other kids, take them out to go potty and then I am going to start getting ready for the day. My husband is in bed right now, he's just waking up. My baby hasn't woken up yet because usually I take him with me to go drop off the kids at school. But since his dad was here, I just left him asleep. So right now he is sleeping still. And while he's sleeping still, I'm going to get ready. So since I'm in the Christmas mood, today we're using the limited edition Christmas cookie flavor in the skinny syrups. Mmm, Christmas cookies. They t It tastes like frosted Christmas cookies. And then I'm just going to pour my coffee. Having some hot coffee because it has been freezing here every morning. And freezing my butt off. Taking my kids to school. Wrapping them up tightly. Because I don't want them to get sick. Ooh. And then for my creamer, I'm just going to be using some heavy cream as always. Just going to put a splash in there. Now, after I get ready, I know I want some breakfast today. I just don't know what I want. I don't know what I'm in the mood for. So while I get ready, I'll probably just decide what I'm wanting. I probably just want a small and simple breakfast. Nothing too crazy for today. And then we will see what we get in the rest of the day. I know my husband wants to go like Christmas shopping and stuff for gifts, but I'm not sure if we're doing that today. We will see. Because like Friday is the only day that he's off that the kids are actually in school besides the baby. Because we can't Christmas shop on the weekend or anything like that. Or it just has to be one of us going. And we kind of like to do it together. So we don't know what we're doing yet. It's so good. Alright guys, it is time to get up the dogs and let them go potty. Good morning. And there they go. <laughs> Linky. I don't know where Linky is. Say good morning. Oh, there she is. Say good morning, Lily. You gonna go outside? Yeah. You need to go party. Y'all have fun. It's cold out there. Lacey. <laughs> Lacey. I got ready, but it's cold. <laughs> I don't want to get up. We had to turn on the heater because it's freezing here and I just want to stay in bed. Cook yourself breakfast. <laughs> Make me some breakfast in bed. No. I vote. <laughs> it's freezing. And then I was looking at this. Look at this. It's a chicken coop, but it's a spaceship. <laughs> That's cool. I gotta get up and make breakfast, guys. Babe wants sausage and eggs, so that's what we're making for breakfast today. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning to Bash. Mm. He woke up very happy this morning and wanting to play some games already. Yeah. Oh my god, he's getting into Spider-Man lately, and he's been into puzzles lately. You like Spider-Man? What does Spider-Man do? Does he go like this? Look. Alright guys, we are going to start making breakfast. So, you want over easy eggs? Yeah, My husband fried. wants, oh, he wants over -y fried eggs. He likes his, like, the edges crispy. I like yeah. mine over easy, so we're going to be making some over easy eggs and some sausage links. And I think I want to put some ranchero salsa on my eggs. It'll be delicious. Do you want some on your eggs? It's not spicy. It's more of like a tomatoey taste. Oh, toilet <laughs> I always tell them it's not spicy, but I'm so used to like spicy foods. Nothing <laughs> tastes spicy to me. No, but for real, it's not spicy because I was surprised it wasn't. So it looks like this. So if y'all saw my what I eat a day on Tuesday, I made those pork chops and this salsa and it was delicious because I hadn't tried this salsa yet. And yeah. I think I'm going to put it on my eggs 
today with sausage so i got this from h-e-b if y'all didn't see it it's handmade in texas lone star good stuff ranchero salsa and it's two net carbs a serving what are you eating look what he's eating nuts <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mom. He likes this is what he likes to snack on show. So if y'all have never seen these, they actually have these at Kroger now too and H E B. They're the tahin peanuts and they're just you know flavored with tahin and they're really good. Mine. Alright guys, we got our eggs and this is the sausage I'm going to be using today. It's just, um, I don't remember what brand it is. I actually had it in the freezer and I took it out um, yesterday and let it defrost. And I don't remember what kind of brand this is. I think it's Eckridge. Bay, how do you pronounce that sausage? Don't want the green label. What? Eckridge sausage? Eckridge. Eckridge. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's the sausage. So we're just going to cut this up in lengths and we like to cut it in half and just fry it. And then we have our eggs and our salsa. So let's get to cooking the sausage first. Look at this cute little thing I got from H-E-B. I didn't show you. I just got it like two days ago. It's a salt and pepper shaker. They're so cute. It was only like $4 at H-E-B and they had different ones. But I thought the gingerbread house was the cutest. It's so cute. It's cute. It's so cute. He's a hater. Whatever. Look at that big hater. Okay, so to get my sausage a little bit crispy, I just put some olive oil, I mean some avocado oil down. Just very little just to sear it. I'm gonna be making breakfast for my husband and my baby and me. So I got two link, one link each, and then this one's for my son, it's very little. So we just like split them in half like this and then sear them down and then we'll flip them. We got the sausage searing, I'm just gonna give it a couple minutes. I'm gonna flip them and sear the other side. You see how it gets it nice and crispy like that? That's the way we like it. Okay, sausage is done. I'm just gonna add it to my plate, paper plate, because I don't wanna wash dishes. <laughs> Always gotta have the paper plates on hand. Okay, now we're gonna fry up our egg. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna make our egg. So I'm gonna make my babies first. I'm just frying it in the leftover um, avocado oil. I gotta flip these eggs. Got his egg split. Babe, how many eggs do you want? Two? Three. Oh, I thought he said two. I was surprised. <laughs> Usually he's like three or four. I thought I heard two. Okay, my son's eggs are done. Gotta make my husband's. The other day I cracked an egg and it was literally no yolk in there. It was weird. It was just a white part. <laughs> And then I've gotten a lot of double yolks lately. I'm going to season them with my cute little salt shaker. They had a little like um, reindeer too. And then they had like a little Santa Claus. If you have an H-E-B near y'all. A little Santa Claus. The gingerbread house. I can't remember. They had a couple other ones. I'm going to add a tad bit more of avocado oil. Because he likes his edges crispy. Bash, you want your food? Got my son's breakfast. He got two eggs and his sausage. I'm gonna cut up his sausage a little bit. My baby is not picky. My mama's cutting up your egg. Okay. Here you go. Why are you doing a dance? Every time, every time we before we feed him or we tell him to come get his food, he does a dance. All the time. Doesn't matter what kind of food it is, he would dance for it. Okay, I'm gonna try to flip these eggs. It's like the worst thing, trying to flip eggs. I got it. Wait. Woohoo! I didn't bust them. This is the way my husband likes his eggs. He likes them like crispy. Can you see that? I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh no! <laughs> I busted it. You didn't see nothing. We didn't see nothing. Here you go, babe. My husband does not eat with silverware. He has to have plastic because he's weird. 
He doesn't like the metal against your teeth. Oh. So we have to keep plastic wear on hand all the time. We get the big old boxes from Sam's Club. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna eat two eggs today. Usually I just eat two eggs really for breakfast. And then I'm gonna add the salsa on top of mine. And then I'm gonna add just like a spoonful of our ranchero salsa. So this is what it looks like. Got it right here cooking with the salsa on top. And then I have my sausage chain. Good and easy breakfast. And if y'all wanna add some more fat, y'all could like just add a half of an avocado and that'll be good with that as well. I just flipped it so the salsa can like cook at the bottom of the egg too. My husband's fixing the dog door so he's waiting to eat real quick. Okay, I think my eggs are done. So the salsa is just going to be at the bottom. You can also put it on top, but I'm not going to add too much. Because it does add the net carbs. And breakfast is done, guys. We're just going to sit down and enjoy our meal. So my husband is fixing the dog door because I guess it came loose. I don't know what these dogs be doing at night. I guess they be partying in there. The net, they get the net off. Yeah. So he's just screwing in a couple of screws so it stays on there. He made this for those of y'all that hadn't seen it before. I didn't make it. Before. Well, we got took an old dresser and we There's took a out. Chest. Yeah, and we took out the insides and we put these chicken wires. We painted it. We changed the knobs and we put a couple of locks just so they don't go all over the place at night and they stay in there and go to sleep. I'm just eating my breakfast and I'm gonna drink some water but today I kind of just wanted to flavor it this morning so I'm gonna use the meal drops as always and this one has energy because I need that this is in the tropical fusion flavor it's really good it kind of tastes like a mix between pineapple and I think strawberry I believe I don't know what kind you crack my egg All right. it's okay you're gonna crack it anyways so this is what it looks like. Let me see what it tastes like. Yeah, I think it's like pineapple and mango and like a hint of watermelon. I can't really, it's like a tropical mix. And then no oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot my husband wanted a slice of solo bread toast. My bad. You should have said it earlier. No. I did. No, when I was cooking, I forgot. Mm. You done? Bash ate all his egg. Uh. You need sausage. You need your dog. Mm -hmm. He ate half of his sausage night. There was more than that. Why not? Mm. My son didn't finish all his sausage, so I'm gonna give it to the dogs. Here, baby. Bella. Treat. Shady. So cute. Ah! It ate my finger. Linky. Move shady. Linky. Got egg on her forehead. Jinky. Jinky jink. There you go. You're good. Look, Linky has egg on her forehead. My husband said he wants more eggs. I should have just made you like six. He can eat. He has room to eat more protein i don't have that much room for protein especially now that he works out too he can definitely have more protein you working out tonight yeah unfortunately we worked out together and we're both like so y'all want to see me work out i'm gonna show you a couple of workouts tonight y'all are just gonna see me i told ray i was like i think i need to get to that point where i'm not like dying on camera working out <laughs> oh so i tried that bike out i've been doing it every day and it kicks my butt that bike is really good so if y'all don't have like a stationary bike and y'all want one 
I highly recommend them. So what I do is like I click the workout button and it changes the resistance as you're going for 30 minutes. So it will jump to like five to eight, five to eight, like every minute. And I do it for 30 minutes and it was kicking my butt. The first day, my legs were hurting so bad. But you got a really good workout in. I was drenched in sweat. My son is always taking my drinks. He has his own drink and he still takes my drink. All the time. Place to stay. It nuts. I have to grab it all at once to Look, go to work. There's a dresser behind here. You see it? <laughs> all of his work stuff, all the time. And this, this will stay here. After he's done drilling the sin, this stays here. No, it doesn't, because you got it. <laughs> Alright, guys, so my mom sent my. Christmas gift early and I got it in so I wanted to open it I know what it is because I wanted it it is something for keto that I've been wanting for a while and I had one it just I don't know I don't think it was as accurate as this one this one is like very popular really good reviews so I really wanted it and I got in a keto coach meter a blood keto meter so if for those of y'all that don't know what this is, that's just starting off on keto. This test is your blood to see where you're at in ketosis. So if you're in ketosis, this is gonna tell you. If something, what I really wanted it for is when I try new products and I don't know if I'm doing too good on them or if they knock me out of ketosis, this is what I wanted this for. So when I test out new products, I know if they're truly keto, I know how they're acting with my blood and my sugar and all that good stuff. So this is what I really wanted this for. And also for my carb up days, um, I wanted to see where how I'm doing with that as well. So this is by Keto Coach, and I will link it in the description below for y'all to check out. Um, and yeah, and you can also like when you run out, they sell their refills and all that good stuff. So this is what the box looks like. And when you open it up, oh, they got a little sticker. And. It tells you like a quick start guide, what to do, how to do it, where to put the blood, how to poke your finger, all that good stuff. I'm not gonna set it up right now, but this is what they give you when you first buy it. So if you wanna buy extras, they sell the extras, like little pokes in a box. And then this is the little stick. You put the little needle in the stick and you poke your finger. And then right here, it's gonna give you the user guide, what all the numbers mean, all that good stuff. And yeah, and then this is a little pouch that comes with it so you can keep everything in place and away from your kids. I should poke my husband. You in his butt. <laughs> he, he hates needles, it's funny. So this is what it looks like. It's just, it's really little like this. It says Keto Coach and when you, probably have to put batteries in it. Does it come with batteries? Oh, and right here. What is this? Oh, these are the test strips. So they come like this in little packets. You really get a shot in your butt. I've got a shot in my butt. I have to every time I have your kids because of my blood type. I am O negative. So whenever I have kids, I have to get a specific shot in my butt. So I've had three. <laughs> and I have to get the same shot after I have my kids. In sad my butt. Story. So sick. Sad story. Yeah, sad story. But yes, this is what it looks like, and I will link it in the description below, and I'll start setting it up. I believe I have to get batteries for it. I'll set it up this week, and as we go along our what I eat in a days and stuff, I will start testing everything for y'all, or whenever I try out new products. You want to tell them about the heater? No. <laughs> so, for those of y'all that don't really like follow us on Facebook, the, what was it, yesterday? No. The day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, 
I was freezing my butt off in my house. It was like cold in here. And I didn't want to go up in our attic and get like our little heaters that we have that we had in our old house to set up. And it was cold. So me and my, my baby, we just bundled up and stayed warm. Well, tell me why my husband gets home. And I was like, hey, we were getting ready for bed. I was like, hey, the boy's room gets really cold, like more cold than ours. We need to like do something about that. He's like, okay, well, turn on the heater. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to go up there and get it, you know. And he goes to the thermostat and turns on the heater. Like, I didn't even know that the house had, like, central heat. I thought it was just, like, central air. Like, I didn't know at all what central heat was i thought like when i was younger growing up we just opened the Get oven <laughs> we just opened the oven and warm our house up and we had little heaters like i didn't even know that we had central heat so he was just laughing at me because i was freezing my butt off all day and now the heater's on right now and it's nice and warm and toasty <laughs> you were gonna go get the space heater in yeah attic. i was gonna go get the space heater in the attic because i didn't even know that we had central heat like i didn't even think about it and it says it right there it says cool and heat but like it didn't even register in my head that it was central heat hi okay yeah this one every time he's watching videos he comes and shows me now because he knows that oh he calls him a oh oh he tries to say ho ho he knows that Santa's coming, so he's coming to show me all these presents that he wants all the time. And he makes noise the whole time. The whole time he's watching. So if y'all hear him in the background, it's because he's watching videos and he's making noise the whole time watching them. So sorry for the background noise. <laughs> he's watching Spider-Man, so I guess when Spider-Man flies, he's like, mm, oh, mm, oh. <laughs> Bash. You like Spider-Man, Bash? You like Spider Man? Dando. Brando likes Spider Man? Yeah, Brando. Yeah. Brando likes Spider Man. So, thank you, Mom. Shout out to my mom for my Christmas present. I have been wanting this forever. Mm -hmm. Hater. She's a hater. No. Y'all should see me and her fighting daily over him. Look, oh, look. oh my pretty. God. You're hey, so pretty. that is my man. No. So no. Oh my. Look, Don't give Shady me. love. She licks me weird. <laughs> Don't lick me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so our dog Shady, we absolutely love her. She's the sweetest dog ever. But she licks really weird. Like she like makes out with your hand. So he's always like, "Don't lick me." <laughs> and she knows what it means. Yeah, she knows what don't lick me means. But she still trusts. I don't know why she does. She just licks. Just weird. It's just weird. I don't know how to explain it. Then she's creepy. Watch. But she's very sweet. Watch, watch. Hey, Jinky. Lick. Hey, Jinky. No, Shady, don't lick me. <laughs> don't lick me, Shady. <laughs> she's always trying to kiss him in the face. She's so don't, awkward. Don't lick funny. me. <laughs> don't lick me, Shady. Don't lick me. <laughs> we are don't. headed to the store. We're on our way to Walmart. We're just going to go buy a couple gifts while the boys are at school. Oh my god. It's easier to... Stop it! It's easier to go when it's both of us because we still have the baby. So like if I go during the week by myself, I still have him. So when we go together, I get a separate... <laughs> I'm gonna kick your butt. So when we go together, I get a separate shopping cart and then he has the baby in a separate one so I can kind of hide everything so it's just easier. It's hard to go when he's at work so we try to go together. He's brake checking. I should have drove. I need to brake check you. Fuck. <laughs> say hi, Bash. He never wants to say hi. Yeah. Oh, he's. Oh, I have to turn on the the hot spot. Remember, guys, I have to turn on my hot spot every time I get into the truck. We just got to Walmart. Now we gotta find parking because it looks pretty packed. They got all their little cute Christmas stuff. Look at the little blow ups. I got a couple gifts. I got mainly for the baby. So where are we headed right now, babe? 
the house. Oh, we're going home right now. <laughs> we're going home right now. And I'll see, I'm kind of um, a little bit hungry, so I'll see what I want to make for lunch or maybe a snack. All right, guys, we got home, and for lunch, I kind of want, like, a quick kind of snack. So I have this rotisserie chicken, and I'm going to shred some, and I'm going to be making some turkey bacon pinwheels. Some turkey bacon chicken pinwheels? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so I'm going to shred a little bit of this rotisserie chicken. Okay, so I got some shredded rotisserie chicken on here, and then I added a little bit of cream cheese, and I'm just going to soften it up. Okay, after you soften it up like this, I'm going to add a little bit of bacon bits. You could use fresh bacon as well and crisp it up. And I just added a pinch of cheddar cheese and then I'm going to mix it. Okay, so it should look nice and mixed like this. Now I'm gonna roll, spread this out on these tortillas. These are my favorite ones. I get these from Kroger. But these are the snack size ones, so they're pretty small. They're three net carbs each. So I'm gonna do two. We got a package at the door. See what it is. I was finishing up my rose. Oh, look what's at my door. We got the keto crate. Got the keto crate in. Video coming soon. Stay tuned for next week. Okay, so I spread them out on my tortilla. Now I'm gonna roll them and then we're gonna slice them. All right, guys, and here is our quick lunch or snack. They're just some um, chicken. <laughs> I can never get it. Chicken, cream cheese, bacon, pinwheels. <laughs> Also below carb tortillas. This is what they look like. You just want to see the song. <laughs> chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna. And y'all know I'm about to dip these in some Valentina sauce. These are very quick and easy to make. You can also store them in the fridge for work the next day for a quick on-the-go lunch or snack. Whatever you want to make them for. And you could stuff these with many different things. Dip it in some hot sauce. Jiggity. Oh my god, they're so good. Especially with rotisserie chicken. I love rotisserie chicken. My husband hates it. Those were so good. I tore them up. I'm drinking some water right now because I'm pretty thirsty and in my mouth because. <laughs> From the Valentina. If y'all make those, let me know what y'all stuff them with. I always try to find like different insides for the pinwheels because they're really good. Okay, so right now I finished my snack and me and my husband were talking right now. We're kind of like, we don't really have nothing to do right here, right now before we pick up the kids. So we've been wanting to like declutter our house and get rid of some stuff. So why not just make some extra cash on the side? Right now we're gonna go through our things and see what we don't use. And we're gonna post it on offer up because we're gonna be getting in more toys and more stuff around the holidays. And we don't want, we don't like clutter. So we're gonna go through our things and get rid of some stuff. Okay, so we're still going through our stuff. I got a couple of things together, like these lamps that I never used. They're literally brand new. But right now, I have to go pick up my kids from school and come back and feed them. Because <laughs> I know they're always hungry when they come home. He found an old speaker system that he loves, but he has another one that's newer, right? I have like four or more. Yeah, he, I don't know what it is with him and speakers. It's both speakers. But he's obsessed with them, so he's gonna get rid of these. I don't use them in the closet. Yeah, they just been in the closet. But he's obsessed with speakers like a weirdo. No, I like both. So I like good sound. And you, you're not good sound. Hey. Mean. See, see what I have to put up with? He's rude. All right, guys, we got back home. The kids are eating. They got all undressed and stuff. And my husband brought out these lights that we're gonna sell. So these were my first lights that I ever got when I started my YouTube channel. They were like my budget lights and then I upgraded them. So, you know, we're just gonna get rid of them because we don't really use them anymore. Um, we're gonna post them on OfferUp. He's taking a picture of them. We're gonna post them on OfferUp. Um, it's a really great, if y'all don't know about it, it's a really great app where you could just sell stuff that you don't use anymore. I actually got a lot of my workout equi equipment on there for really cheap, really great pricing. So if y'all want to, um, look on there for things that y'all need around y'all's house or workout equipment or anything y'all need, it's really good, um, to stay on budget. Right now, I have somebody on the way to come pick up. This is like a mini SpongeBob jump house that my kids don't use anymore since we got the trampoline. So we thought we'd just get rid of it. So somebody is actually coming to pick it up right now for $80. Really good price just to get rid of something that was just sitting here in the garage. 
Okay, so very quickly before dinner, tonight we are making keto chili and I wanted to try something new. I've been on the hunt for some soybeans that are like keto friendly. They're very low in carbs and I haven't been able to find them, but I searched on my Kroger and supposedly they have them in stock. So I'm going to go pick those up really quickly and we are going to try it out in our keto chili tonight. Just got to Kroger. I'm really hoping they have these in stock because it would really take the keto chili up a notch. So let's hope they have them. Okay, so while I'm looking for the beans, let me show you what else I found. So Kroger now carries, they have these new keto and polio friendly shiitake noodle spaghetti style. These look awesome if y'all want to try these out. I usually get, these are the palmini noodles that I get. They have the lasagna sheets and the regular noodles, but now they have these. I kind of want to try these. They are two net carbs per serving. So maybe I'll pick them up this week when I go grocery shopping and try them out for y'all. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to find the beans. I've been looking everywhere, but I got a comment the other day of somebody asked me in a recipe what they, what they can replace with the eggs. I, I'm guessing they just can't have eggs. And I happened to pass by this, and this is an egg replacer for a recipe. So for a lot of y'all that can't have eggs in recipes or don't like eggs or something like that, they sell egg replacers that you can put in recipes. So I thought it was pretty cool just to let y'all know. All right guys, I didn't find the beans. I'm so sad. But while I was here, I just picked up some more cheese crisp for on top of our chili. And I passed by the clearance aisle and they had this Dunkin' pumpkin spice ground coffee on sale for like two bucks. So why not grab it? Some pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, some pumpkin spice coffee in the morning. All right guys, well, I'm about to head home. I am back home and it is time to start dinner. So we're gonna make our keto chili. I'm gonna start chopping everything up. So I have to chop up some red bell pepper and some celery. I chopped up three stalks of celery, one large red bell pepper and half a large onion. And I'm going to be cooking everything in my instant pot, but you could put this in a regular pot as well. So first we're going to start sauteing our onions. So I'm just gonna click the saute button. Um, I do have a whole recipe video on this back in my older videos. It's called the no bean chili. It'll pop up at the end of this video for y'all to click on. Just in case y'all want to save this recipe. So first thing, I'm going to let the olive oil heat up and then we're going to saute our onions and get them nice and tender. Okay, I'm just dropping in my onions. And the meat that we're going to be using for our chili, we're going to be using some ground beef and some ground sausage, just regular. And then just let your onion saute, then we're going to be adding in our meat. For my meat, I just have some regular ground beef. And then I have this big roll of Jimmy Dean ground sausage from Sam's Club, but I'm only going to be using half. I'm not gonna use the whole roll. Okay, my onions are nice and tender, so I'm gonna start adding in my meat. Just gonna add in all my ground beef and then I'm going to add in half the sausage and just save the other sausage for like future breakfast or something you can probably make some like sausage patties with it or just cook it down with some eggs or whatever you like okay now we're gonna break all our meat apart and then I'm going to season it While our meat cooks through, I'm going to start seasoning it. So I'm gonna season it with some garlic powder. And I have measurements on my other video, but I kinda, I make this all the time, so I kinda just eyeball it now. But I put about a tablespoon of each seasoning, but I kinda go more heavier on the chili powder. So I'm gonna put some onion powder. Some ground comino. A little bit of paprika. Black pepper. Gotta pull out the other side. Some salt, and then I just add salt as I add more ingredients in, like more salt to taste. And then some chili powder. And this is what's gonna give it that chili flavor. And then you just want to wait until all your meat is cooked through. Okay, once all my meat is pretty much cooked through, I'm going to start adding in my bell peppers and my celery so it can saute with the meat. 
This is pretty much like our bean replacement, the red bell peppers and the celery. Guys, I promise when y'all try this chili, it's really, really good, even without beans. Hopefully, I can try it with the soybeans when I try to get my hands on them or find them somewhere. Now, I'm just going to mix all this together and let it cook for about like five more minutes. Once everything is cooked through nice and tender, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients in. So for our tomatoes, we're going to be adding one can of crushed tomatoes and one can of fire roasted tomatoes. Add in the whole can and then we're just going to mix it well. This chili doesn't take long to make at all. Just mix it all together. And I'm going to turn off my saute. So if you're cooking it in the regular pot, you just leave it on. But I'm going to have to pressure cook it, so I just turn it off. Last ingredient I'm going to add for right now, I'm going to add a little bit of beef broth. Not much, maybe like a half a cup to a cup. Just because I need um, a liquid also for the pressure cooker. And this just gives it a lot more flavor. Okay, now we're just gonna seal it and pressure cook it. I'm gonna pressure cook mine for 10 minutes because it's very quick and easy. Now, if you're doing it over the stove, you might wanna let it come to a simmer and let it boil for about 25 to 30 minutes. I'm going to put my lid on, make sure it's on sealing, hit pressure cook, let it go up to 10 minutes and let it sit here and cook. Easy as that. Okay, my chili is done cooking, so now I'm just gonna release my pressure and then we're gonna get the toppings together. When it's done, this is what it should look like. It smells so good. It was very quick and easy. Now we're just going to let it cool for just a few minutes and then we're going to serve it and top it. These are the toppings that we like to use. So for the crunch, I use these cheddar crisps. They're like in the salad aisle in the stores. Um, we put sour cream. Of course, we put mild cheddar cheese. And then we like to slice up these green onions. All right, guys. And here is dinner. This one's mine and my husband's. And we're just gonna sit down and enjoy. Very simple, easy to make, and it's very good on these cold nights. And for my drink tonight, I'm actually going to be drinking one of these Diet Green Tea Mixed Berry by Lipton. These are so good. My favorite tea. They finally had them back in stock at HEB because they have been gone for a while. I could never find these flavors, and they finally had them on stock, and I got my hands on them. So I'm gonna be enjoying this with dinner. Here is your food, babe. We got Bella gonna wanna get up right now and jump on that. Yeah. Look at her. Look at her. You want some Bella? <laughs> his, what are his favorite keto meals? Look at her. She knows when he has food. So we're gonna enjoy our dinner and relax just for a bit because we have to work out tonight. Right, babe? I guess. <laughs> I'm excited, but then like on Fridays when he's off, I want to work out, but then I want to spend time with him, so it's hard. So I don't have time I'll in the work morning. Out. <laughs> I'll work out. That's fine. <laughs> Shut up. So I don't have time in the morning, so I have to work out at night. But we are going to relax, and he wants to watch The Mandalorian. Watch. Yeah, watch. The Mal watch. Shh. I can't even say Mandalorian. Mandalorian, okay. Y'all never seen this. He absolutely loves this show. I pay attention to it somewhat. It's pretty good. I just don't get into these kinds of shows. I don't know why. But this is what we're going to sit here and watch and eat our dinner. All right, guys. It's time to start working out. We're getting started a little bit late because we got distracted after dinner. We just got online and started looking at gifts for the boys for Christmas. But now it's time to hit this cardio. My husband is going to do the treadmill for 30 minutes and I'm going to do the bike for 30 minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, what I've been doing the past couple of days, and it's been kicking my butt, I'm going to click this weight loss workout button, and it sets the timer for 30 minutes. And the whole time as you're going, it's changing, you work your way up in resistance, and then as you go up and, you'll go up and down, it'll start changing resistance as you go. So it'll go up to eight, and then it'll drop down to five, and then it'll go up to eight, and then it'll drop down to five. And the whole time you're doing it for 30 minutes, and it is a workout, this has to be my favorite cardio so far that I have done. I absolutely love it. All right guys, 30 minutes later, 7.26 miles later on this thing, it kicked my butt. My husband's still going, he has a few minutes left. We're watching murder documentaries as we work out and he's going and getting it in. 
And now I'm gonna rest for one minute and then I'm going to hit the abs. All right guys, my husband just did two miles. He started with the mile, hit a mile and a half, and now he hit two miles. So he just finished that, did awesome. Now I'm going to do this ab machine. All right guys, so on this ab machine, you kind of have to get in this position and you don't want to move your upper body. You just want to move the back and work your bottom stomach. And you only do it for about five to 10 minutes and it really burns. It really works that lower stomach. So after having kids, I really want to work out my lower stomach and this has been helping a lot this past week. I have definitely felt it in my stomach. I'm gonna do this for a couple minutes and get this workout in. Smile. <laughs> All right guys, my last workout for the night. I'm going to lift some weights. I'm gonna be doing five sets of 10. I'm trying to work my way up into more sets. Um, I started off, when I first started off with my other bar, I was lifting about 10 to 15 pounds. And now I'm at 35 pounds and I try to work my way up about once a week. I try to at least go five pounds up, so going to hit these workouts i've been feeling it a lot in my arms and it's been feeling really good i have, i love lifting weights now so uh, get started on this shave them hairy armpit no don't look at my hairy armpits i shaved uh, the first set's good and then you start going down and it starts getting harder and harder The face, though. The face. <laughs> Stop. Then, and then you take a small break, and then you keep going. How does it feel? Good on the first one until you start going and going. You don't want to take too long of a break, because then you won't really feel it. Just real quick. I'm going to start lifting Ray soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, stop for the laugh. Alright guys, I'm done. I can barely hold off this camera, my arms hurt. But I ended up doing 8 sets of 10. I just felt like I could really push today and I really wanted to push myself today further so I can go up in weights this week. And I feel absolutely really good. Look at this. Woo! Good muscle. You see that? I'm going to be lifting my husband soon. All right, guys. But we are about to end this night. I am done. Got my workout in. Had a good day of eating. And we are about to shower. And I have a couple of things I have to do before I go to bed, clean up. And we are going to relax for the night and call it a night. So I hope y'all enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes and videos. And I will see y'all in my next video.